Match is ready to go. Two versus seven. Drivers at the ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, a bit of a tipple, topple here for 581. They're getting hung up on the Golden Gates bumpers as this Red Alliance Auton is not working as well as they seem. If 581 somehow tips over, this would be a disaster for the Red Alliance. So far, things seem okay. We get a three Coral Auton from the Rembrandts. No tip over from 581, the Bulldogs. But we now need to see Golden Gate Robotics. They're going across the field. Here comes Zunka Dynamics going across the field. Double O, one D. Both alliances, similar strategies. As here comes a double barge, but a double miss. Red Alliance overshooting the barge right there. That's now, was that deliberate perhaps? We've got so much Coral now on the blue side of the field. Well, let's see what the Red Alliance is going to do about it. Zunka Dynamics choosing to play zone defense as these Red Alliance robots are doing the every action in sync. Those two double algae do get scored up high as 5924, the Golden Gate machine, is known for playing defense. They did it to win the Sunset Showdown this past summer, and here they are playing defense against the Blue Alliance. On the red side of the field, Duncan Dynamics choosing to stash up all of the remaining algae in one corner of the field and really make that one loading station very unappealing for the Red Alliance. It doesn't seem to be working, though. Red Alliance, number two, up by over 40 points. 581 nearly tipping over as they go for this barge score. They got to play slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Big collision there. Those bumpers on 59-24 not really made of foam as the Blue Alliance does get some more scoring in. Red Alliance, though, has not let up the pressure. They've filled up nearly the entire L4. Here comes the Rembrandts. We've also got more points in the barge for the Red Alliance. 59-24, Golden Gate really not giving Eagle Force any chance of reprieve as Eagle Force has yet to grab an object for many seconds now. Blue Alliance choosing to score in the processor. That is six points for them. But if this human player lands the shot, it'll be four points back for the Red Alliance. Under 30 seconds left on the clock. Red Alliance are looking very dominant here. But maybe they're not here to play the Blue Alliance. Maybe they're here to show what they could bring to the other Alliance in this event. Well, let's see how they do in the climbs. 15 seconds left on the clock. Duncan Dynamics playing a dangerous game here, trying to box in the Red Alliance as they go and try to disrupt the climbs. There's a good winch and grab from 581. Rembrandt's going up for the climb. We've got a double with a... Time expiring, Alliance 2, sitting pretty. Red Alliance takes the win here. 179 to 62. That is a fantastic score and we'll be sending Alliance 2 on to the upper bracket, match eight. Alliance 7 is still alive. We'll be playing in match six. Let's hear.